Asian men. That they're a lot smaller than us. Asian men have, you know, are smally endowed. Small bodies. Always do kung fu. Yeah. <laughs> All men, you know, want to attract women or men, you know, just depending on their sexual preference. That is true. Oh, come here, baby. They all kind of seem to look the same. I, it would be a little awkward for me personally with the wear heels and the ends a little shorter. But, you know, um, I think, uh, um, I don't know. <laughs> Kelly Duhane with ABCs of Attraction, and we're here today to ask that burning question, what are the stereotypes that women have for Asian men? Let's go. What are the stereotypes that women have for Asian men? I guess they would say they're a little serious, maybe a little quiet, um, very focused on their studies and their careers. Smart, maybe like reserved, like laid back. A one that I pretty much hear a lot is that they're really shy and reserved. I would have to say that they're too serious looking and they they don't show much emotion. Asian men are shorter, okay. so I feel like a tall pretty girl thinks he's shorter than me. I don't necessarily need to be with someone like that. I, it would be a little awkward for me personally with to wear heels and be in a little shorter. And that's a little shallow, I guess, but that they're a lot smaller than us. Okay. <laughs> Asian men have, you know, are smally endowed. Um, <laughs> also, they're very timid and uh -huh. quiet. So being short and high. Yeah, short, okay. Yeah, small bodies, so. <laughs> the Asian men are short. <laughs> that they're short? Yeah. What, what do you think? Thin and shy. Shy? Yeah. Bad drivers, too. Okay. That, I mean, that's been a stereotype. Um, they all kind of seem to look the same. Uh, black hair. They stick to their own. They don't short. tend to do short. 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 Okay. They always do kung fu. Yeah. <laughs> um, usually they're short and maybe passive. Okay, so why do you think those stereotypes exist for them? It's just more of the cultural, the cultural difference mm -hmm. and interacting with people who are outside of their cultures. And you know, they might get pressure from their parents. As opposed to any, any other person? As opposed to more, I don't know why. I feel like they just get more pressure. I see a lot of short Asian men. A lot of yeah. short Asian men. I think like in TV, they kind of make fun of how small they are. We're not educated about necessarily what they do in other cultures, so it's just what you see. A cultural difference between Caucasian and the Asians, like they're maybe they don't show as much emotion as that's we true, do, yeah, or just differently and different. And they even portray that on television right, as well. Absolutely. How can men combat the stereotypes? I would say just by being themselves and trying to get more comfortable in who they are. I think. All men are smart and all men, you know, want to attract women or men, you know, just depending on their sexual preference. That is true. But, true. you know, um, I guess just be like a little bit more approachable looking, you know, a little bit more smiley and, you know, friendly, warm and maybe more creative. Just know stepping out of your box always leads you to something, you know, more fun or mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, something that you wouldn't necessarily expect. Yeah, be more confident and um, just talk more, be more enthusiastic in the and go, go. go to more events, you know. If you bug a girl enough, she's gonna at least go out on a date with you. You can show her your true side, basically, so. I don't know how they could really change the height thing, but. Well, they can change height, yeah. but what can they do about their height? I guess Instead dress of differently, they could dress differently. Or have Make some sort of confidence. Yeah, confidence. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Always take a leap of faith and you might end up with something that you never knew you could end up with. Just girls like a guy who can be themselves. Don't try and act like someone different because eventually girls are going to find out who your true self is. So Yeah, so that height really doesn't matter, does it? No. <laughs> Just learn to open up and be more friendly. We have to change us <laughs> and go to know. them. Maybe yeah. them come to you. Maybe not being afraid that other people won't understand their culture or understand them. Um, I guess they can be more confident and be, be more vocal about their feelings and not be so shy. Confidence and to there be polite. Go. To be very polite. A lot of men are very rude and you know, oh, come here baby, you know how that is. Would you say, and it could be because of the, you're beautifully tall and they're it nervous. Be. It could be, but yeah. it could be like a nervous thing. But just be confident, cool, and polite. It'll Great. always get you somewhere. Don't 
listen to these stereotypes and maybe just try to really figure out who you are so that you can just be natural and comfortable. And be and, yourself. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I appreciate thank that. Thank you. All right. Have you been approached by Asian men? We're not skinny enough. <laughs> no, that is not true. I, I mean, I'm married. Yeah. Oh, you're married. I got you. I'm not really approached by many guys, actually. I'm attracted to white men. I mean, the anime nerds. There's something about it. Like. Hey, everybody. This is Isabel Du with ABC's of Attraction. And today, I'm in Hollywood. And I'm about to go on the streets to look for gorgeous girls to ask them the burning question of, do Asian men approach you? So let's go check out and see.